CCTV's Nathan King joins us live from the convention. Nathan, it has been a long road, hasn't it? Absolutely, Rochelle. And by the way, the speech draft has been leaked to lots of US media, and we expect him to deliver it in about a couple of hours from that stage right there. In it, he puts America first, but also has some strong words for China, saying it was a colossal mistake uh, to negotiate China into the World Trade Organization, said that he would renegotiate uh, trade deals with China and also Canada and Mexico as part of the North American Free Trade Agreement. That may win him over more supporters here in the hall. There have been divisions, as we saw on Monday and also in the previous 24 hours when there was booing at Ted Cruz, his former opponent. But there are some people in this hall, Rochelle, I can really tell you, that have been with Donald Trump since day one. Trump supporters shout down his former rival, Ted Cruz, from the floor as he refuses to back Donald Trump. Many of his supporters have been passionate from the beginning. They want the outsider, who has never been a politician, a man who speaks his mind, and now they feel vindicated as Trump is the winner. I've been a Trump supporter from day one. I had a Trump rally in um, West Virginia, Logan County, from where I'm from. And uh, we had a great turnout and, you know, people thought we were crazy at first, but now you see the turnout here that's supporting him. Despite the controversies surrounding his candidacy for president, Trump has won more votes in the primaries than any other Republican candidate in history. He won big in his home state of New York and Chinese American Mei Lin Tan from Flushing, Queens, was the first ever Asian American delegate from the state back in 1996. Twenty years later, she's an ardent Trump supporter. We need an extraordinary leader, you know, uh, at these uh, special times and, uh, you know, to change America, to change, uh, you know, the world for the better. Her son Oliver is a delegate for the first time this year and also proud to be an Asian American casting his vote for Trump. It's the greatest honor that any delegation could ever receive. And, you know, with New York up front and center, voting for our favorite son, uh, you know, this is the, mo the most, most amazing thing, and everyone's going to be remembering this one. All around the hall, on hats, badges, and signs, the Trump name. His supporters have been proved right here this week. A year ago, people laughed at a Trump candidacy. Now, no longer. <laughs> And Trump may have won enough delegates in this hall to go forward to the general election, but now, after winning over Republicans, he's going to have to win over Americans. He's got three months to do it. In his speech, he actually says at the end, if he delivers it as written, and with Donald Trump, you never know, he says, I am with you, the American people. It is a pitch out of the divisions that we've seen this week here to the country as a whole, Shel. Now, Nathan, you mentioned this speech and some of the content that's going to be in there. Do you think he's done enough to unite the party at the moment? <laughs> You've been watching this week, right? What do we have? We had the fight on the floor on Monday, Melania, his wife's speech, which was accused of plagiarism the same night. We had Ted Cruz spoiling the vice president's uh, speech by basically saying he wasn't going to vote for Donald Trump and everyone else should vote with their conscience. We've seen booing, we've seen cheering, we've seen open arguments in the hallway. So the short answer to all of what I've just said is no. But the big question is, does he have enough of the Republican base to move forward to add to that from independents and Democrats? In his speech, he will actually appeal to disaffected voters who voted for Hillary Clinton's opponent, Bernie Sanders, and said, it's a crooked system come over to us. Whether that will work or not, we'll have to wait and see. But as you know, in the polls that we've seen recently, uh, it doesn't look great for Donald Trump. But, you know, he surprised us all getting here. He could surprise us all by getting to the White House. Indeed. No shortage of drama at all. Thank you for following all that for us. Nathan King, live from Cleveland, Ohio.